you know, it's, it's so crazy that we live in a world now where you, I mean, let, let's not, let's not get this twisted. I understand rap is, was, will always be about keeping it real and be a reflection of, of where artists like yourself come from. But damn, like, like we literally have rappers who are on trial for their life facing a death penalty. Like, what part of the game is this? Like, this is when keeping it real go way, way, way wrong. Yeah, like, so such thing as keeping it too damn real, I guess, you know. <laughs> he kept, they yeah, kept but, it too real. Absolutely. But to your point about clout, um, <laughs> here's the crazy part. When, 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 I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure Melly was doing this thing out there before all this went down, but this a report came out the other day that this dude got multi-platinum um, joints out there since since getting locked up because everybody want to hear his music. His streaming has been through the roof. So he got platinum records and diamond records right now. You know what? It's, it's crazy because, you know, and, 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 it's, and, it, and it seemed kind of weird for me, weird and crazy for me to sit here and quote a Nicki Minaj. But she said it. You know, back in the day, we well, we was listening to artists that had that had talent. Now we listening to who's popular. There you go. Yep. You know, you ain't got to have no damn talent. You can, you don't even know how the words don't even have to rhyme. You ain't even got to be on beat. There if you, you go. If you yep. popular at that time and you drop a song, then hey, your shit is the number one hit. You know what I'm saying? We, music was was music when we actually put something into it, put our soul into it, or into what we were saying, or our flow, or whatever. You know, what I'm I'm pretty sure they might be doing it too, but you know, uh, it's a difference, man. I, that's all I can say. You know, from from, and, and it's crazy because Nicki Minaj actually know how to fucking rap. She spit. You know there what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I don't know if she write her own shit or not, but I heard she did. You know what I'm saying? But it's other artists out here that can't. That that could never write shit, can't do nothing. I don't even I've been doing this shit so long, I don't even write no more. Yeah, I listen to the beat for about 15 seconds and I ask him if the mic is hot. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a it's a whole different ball game out here now. It's so many artists out here that that can't even spit, but they got man, millions of views. And they're getting that money, you know what I'm saying? But um more power to anybody out here getting money, but Shit, you know, like I say, <laughs> sometimes it's, it's real, man. You know, and, and keeping it, keep, Nicki Minaj kept it too real right there. <laughs> <laughs> she, she let him know, man, you know, it's, it's popularity right now. It's not talent. It is. I mean, she's 100% right. She's 100% right. Yeah. This is not about talent. This is 100% about <laughs> popularity. You as Tupac's brother... You you've been waving that flag and showing your love for Pac and riding out for this man from day one. You know, everybody know that Spice got true love for Pac. Did you get a chance to catch that documentary, the Tupac and Afeni Shakur docu series, Dear Mama? Um, nah, I'm I don't, I'm not uh, familiar with it. Okay. This this was a docu series that Alan. Oh, that's why. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Okay. You, so 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 you remember Alan the, the Alan Hughes documentary? Yeah, I remember them uh, talking about doing, but I never, I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Vlad interviewed Alan Hughes recently, and like, let's just keep it a hundred. Vlad has been interviewing people who have been in a life of Tupac, people who love Tupac, <laughs> people who met Tupac one time on the street. If if they got some info <laughs> on Tupac, Vlad has interviewed him. I think I think Vlad probably interviewed more people surrounding Tupac than anybody on planet Earth. Yeah, Vlad had and, a lot um, of love for Pac, man. I can see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could tell. But but he interviewed. Alan Hughes and and Vlad himself said, yo, this is the greatest Tupac documentary that he had ever seen. 
And that's big coming from him. Yeah. Especially coming from 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 the from, you know from the Hughes brothers doing it, you know. Um, um, I figure that you know they're artists, just like like me, and they and they want to you know they gonna, they gonna put all of their perfection into their work, you know, matter what the the drama in the background or whatever's going on, they go they just gonna make sure that they they work is good, mm-hmm. and, I, and I can understand that, you know, what I'm saying. Um, so I, I do want to check it out, you know. Um, at the same time, you know, I don't know if Pac and, and uh, Alan squashed that shit or whatever. Um, I just know it's 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 all to me, you know. Since the homie resting in peace, everything in between them was water under the bridge, and I'm not even tripping on on nothing between Alan and Pac and Hughes brothers and stuff. I seen a few a few of the uh, documentaries before. Like they still they'll they'll play my music in the documentary in like the movie. Uh, I seen. Um, I'm like, if you want to make it real, because Pac had an East Coast accent first of all. So if they get anybody to play Tupac, he got to have an East Coast accent to make it look real. And if and then and and and, and when he's and when y'all filming stuff. In the background, you gotta have some spice one playing, cause that's what he listened to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what he listened to, man. I'm not saying that to be on my own dick or nothing like that. That's what the fuck the nigga listened to. And the outlaws will tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I definitely wanna wanna see what it what it uh what the what it's about. I wanna see the documentary and, and everything. Um because, you know, shit. Anything got to do with the homie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we want to be in the mix, man. It's thug life, outlaws, you know what I'm saying? No, absolutely. Um, you know, interestingly enough, and and it's not like this wasn't unexpected, a lot of Tupac fans was pissed that um Alan Hughes was the one that directed it considering their past beef. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean a lot of pe- a lot of people were pissed off. I just hope that, you know, and like I say Allen is an artist. He'd be the better man and 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 not let the uh any, any discrepancies between him and uh Tupac affect the, uh his 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 art, his music, his video. I mean his 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 movie, uh documentary, um he wouldn't let anything affect that because he's an artist and he wants his work to be out there uh good in the right way. Um it's just that, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, to go for him to go to uh, everybody who was really around Pac and get and and, and, and ask some questions um, opposed to everybody who everybody knows that was around Pac. There's some people that that Pac was around that people didn't know about that they didn't ask questions. You know, um, I just me and uh rated R from Thug Life. We was about to do a show in um San Quentin the penitentiary with uh Sibo and um and uh Thug Life. You know what I'm saying? We still talking everything. So I mean, you know, they can easily go back and ask some some OGs who 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 was around him around that time um if they want some real answers. So let me ask you this. Was you offended that you wasn't approached to be part of the documentary because everybody know the love that you have for this man my um i really to 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 to, even to my surprise i wasn't um Pac is his own man he he is uh, he got his own entity he got his own thing he had his own thing cracking and if they wanted to involve me in it then then they 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 should have and and if they didn't i'm you know hey i'm not i'm not tripping you know um like i said it's that's gonna be be my my bro anyway any way it happened, uh, his his family is my family. Any way it go down, especially you know if if like I say if they want if, like I if they wanted some real uh, footage and to make it look real, then as long as they they play my music in the background or something, <laughs> I ain't mad. But you know, still, man, no, I wasn't upset at all. <laughs>